Now I'm going to do a short project using the uh, Kimono Set 4. Now this is an example here. There's the main design there of Set 4. You can see a lovely, beautiful kimono. I've printed out some of the small, well, medium rectangle kimonos and a couple of background papers. You can just, that's just an example. Now I think I'd make a, a bit often told I look like a samurai. What do you mean? Look. Oh, da, da. Anyway, that's my samurai days over. So I've got a card here. Uh, as you can see, it's a fluted card, just very simple. And I've cut out a square of the backing paper. Choose whatever you want. Make sure you've got the design going the right way. And I've just backed that onto a piece of silver card. And now I'm just going to stick that down onto the card, like so. A little bit of glue. You can use anything that you want, obviously. Replace the lid. You can see I'm a tidy crafter. Stick that down onto there. And with this glue, you have got some wiggling time. Some wiggle time. That just sticks down there really easily. That's be stuck now. You can see there's the front of the card. I think they make wonderful backing papers, these uh, kimonos. Don't forget, this is set six. Now, you can see here, I've printed out the uh, rectangle medium size and I've cut that out you know when I cut it out I just left a white border around it and then stuck that onto some more silver card now I can position this on the card any way I want I can just put it there in the middle so you've got a little smidgen of backing paper there you can put it on a jaunty angle like that if you want or a jaunty angle that way uh, but I think I'm going to keep it a little bit more geometric looking and just have it similar to that. So I've put some double-sided tape on the back already, some foam tape, just to give it a little bit of rise. That comes off there. And then you can just position this exactly where you want it. And I'm doing it so the top of the kimono continues the line here. Press that down. Don't forget, don't put any masking tape here, otherwise it'll be stuck. And then you've got a finished card. Now you can decorate that more if you want. If you want to 3D it with the 3D set, you can add beads, you can add glitter, anything you want. But there's a very simple... Don't get me riled. Samurai card. <laughs>